Hello everyone, my name is Cameron and welcome back to Hot Take. Now, today's topic is something I've been waiting to do since I started this series and the only reason I haven't done it yet is because honestly, I was kind of waiting, letting the series build a few episodes before I did it because I didn't want to just rush off with doing it. So, what are we talking about today? Today, we're talking about full cross-platform play. Now, if you don't know what that means, that means Xbox being able to play with PlayStation and PC and I guess the Switch as well. Not that there's a whole lot of games in common there, but you know, we'll add the Switch into that as well. And the whole reason we haven't gotten it is, is typically down to the, the feud between the two businesses, between Sony and Microsoft and Xbox and PlayStation. You know, it, that's that's the big reason we have it. We, we haven't gotten it yet. Now before all of you guys go spouting down in the comments, oh, but Sony's being greedy right now. Shut up, okay? Don't fucking go spouting in the comments some bullshit you don't know anything about. Yes, Sony's being greedy right now, but do you know why they're being greedy? They're being greedy because they're the platform on top. Here's something I bet you didn't know. Did you know that during the Xbox 360 slash PS3 run that Xbox was on top? Yeah, you probably did, but did you also know that Sony came to Xbox talking to them about cross-platform play and Xbox shot it down? Bet you didn't. So, this is payback. So if you want to go spouting down in the comments about Sony being greedy, take your Xbox fanboyism and shove up your fucking ass. Again, this series is my entire unfiltered opinion on everything to do with this topic. So, I'm going to be an asshole. So don't go spouting in the comments about something being about one company being greedy because they're all fucking greedy. It's called running a goddamn business. You're going to be greedy all the fucking time. Okay? Don't try to be a little dick about it and say some shit that you don't know anything about. Alright, Xbox did it first, now Sony's getting their revenge. Do I think it's a little bit petty? Yes. Do I think Xbox should have just said, fuck it, yeah, here, here's cross-platform back on 360? Yes, they should have. They fucking screwed fans over on something that we've wanted our entire lives. Literally, since online gaming became a thing, it's something we've always wanted. And we haven't been able to get it because Xbox had to be dicks in 2005. Okay? So, what do do I think we'll ever get it? Yes, I do actually think we'll get it. At at some point I think we're going to get it. It's probably while I would love it now because Fallout 76 and Anthem are coming out and those are two games that I have friends who are, who are on Xbox, I know they're going to get it and I'd love to play with them. I don't think we're going to get it anytime soon. Sadly, I don't think we're going to. I think maybe if everyone can stop being petty and greedy, Next console, maybe we'll get it, which would be nice because they're uh, gonna probably be the be all end all console for a while. Um, but sadly, I don't think we're gonna have it on this generation. Would I love it on this generation? Yes, without a fucking doubt, I would love it on this generation. I would love to be able to hop onto my PS4, go through, uh, and, and I, I think th the way they'd have to do it is they'd have to have like a split friends list, like, okay. Here are your friends on here, and here are your friends on the other console. I think that'd be kind of the way to do it. But I'd love to be able to load up my PS4, scroll down to Anthem, you know, go to Anthem, find it, load it up, and invite my friend to play it. Or I'd love to go to Fallout 76 and invite my friend Ryan to play it with me, you know? I would love that idea, to be able to do that. Now, for those of you wondering, I'm not somebody who sticks to one console. I don't give a shit. I don't fucking care. I love playing video games. This is... This is also going to be a hot take on console wars. First off, console wars are retarded. If you guys haven't realized that by this point, then you're stupid. If you're spouting about how your console's better than the other, you're an asshole. Okay, just shut the fuck up about it. No one gives a shit what your console can do. No one gives a shit what your console can't do, okay? The whole point of being a gamer is to enjoy this pastime that we all get to celebrate and love together. Not fucking put somebody down for what they use on and not go, piss him at the wreath in the fucking comments of every goddamn video when people talk about consoles. Shut up about your PC. No one fucking cares. Seriously. No one cares. Okay? Spout about it all you want. Talk about it all you want that you have this fucking thousand dollar gaming PC. No one cares. Okay? No one. I certainly don't. I don't care what console you play on. If you like video games, you like video games. If you like video games, I'm someone you can talk to. I don't give a shit if you play on Xbox, if you play on Switch, if you play on PS4, if you play on PC, if you... I was gonna say if you play on mobile, but... 
that's a bit of a stretch. Okay, that's just a bit of a stretch. Yes, there are games on mobile that are actual like difficult games, like Elder Scrolls Legends, Command and Conquer Rivals, or not Legends, Blades, Command and Conquer Rivals, and a bunch of other games, you know. But I don't like to look at mobile as like an actual serious thing for gaming, and I I feel like a dick for saying that, but you know, it's true. It's just the way it is. So shut up about your console war bullshit, okay? Just enjoy the fucking pastime that we all enjoy and stop being a dick to somebody because they play on a different console. We have enough fighting in this world for stupid reasons. Let's not add more to the list, okay? It's like Android versus iPhone, even though iPhones suck. That's my personal opinion. I, I just, I hate iPhones. You know, it's that sort of thing. It's like, okay, DC versus Marvel and Sony versus Microsoft and all this shit. It, it's petty bullshit at the end of the day. So, what do I think about cross-platform play that is so appealing to gamers? I think the whole thing with it is that it's so appealing because we've grown up in this day and age now where we have online gaming, you know, we have massive online games that we get to enjoy with our friends and stuff, but then it's kind of like, okay, I have a friend who doesn't play on Xbox, or I have a friend who doesn't play on PlayStation, you know, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to play games with them? And it's limited you to who you can play with and when you can play with them and that sort of stuff and i hate that fact and that's that's i think the big reason for cross-platform that's why so many gamers want it it's why we've wanted it for a long time is that we look at it as this gives us options to play with more people that we know without them having to buy a new system or us having to buy a new system and i, I, I don't understand why the company I, I i understand why the companies don't want to do it when you're the top dog you're not really like okay here you know fuck you guys you know but that's sort of the thing is it's like, that's the way business works is it's like, okay, I'm on top. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to help them out with anything. Um, and that's, that's the big issue with it is it, it's, it comes down to greed and it shouldn't be coming down to greed. What they should be looking at is how is this going to help? Is this going to help the fans? Is this going to make the fans happy? And yes, it will. First off, it will make us undoubtedly happy. Um, but you know, it's just, it's one of those things where it comes down to who the top player is and then they decide, you know, that they don't want to do it. You know, it happened with 360 because Xbox was on top and it's happening now with this generation with PlayStation on top. And that's, that's the big thing with it, you know, as I fully agree with PlayStation, I understand what they're doing. You know, I understand it. I, I take business classes for school and stuff and that's what I'm going into and I, I fully understand what it's like to not want to, you know, share something with them that's going to help them profit. And it, it, it's like, here's the thing. If you want to blame Sony now, you got to realize that's all, it is all down to Xbox, okay? It's not Sony's fault that, that there's no cross-platform play. They went to Xbox 360 and PS3 area and said, hey, let's have cross-platform. And Xbox shot them down because they were on top. And then, you know, fuck, what, 10 years later? Or so, it's the other way around, and now Xbox is trying to play the victim card. Like, dude, no. You fucking started this. You brought this on yourself. And I, I fully I fully think that they should just kind of say, fuck it, let's stop being petty, and then, you know, give us the cross-platform that we fucking deserve. Especially with a lot of games nowadays being online-based. Especially, like again, like I mentioned, Anthem, Fallout 76. Two games that are huge fucking releases that are gonna be limited because you can only play with people on your console um really quick i also want to mention the whole thing with this is it comes down to to what you know it, it's one of those things where it's like i'm not allegianced to i'm not aligned to either side i don't give a shit i i played on xbox and playstation my whole life and i love both consoles honestly if i had the money i'd have an xbox one right now as well as my playstation 4 just saying um getting that little bit out of there so that way I can continue. Uh, you know, it, it's the, the big thing is it's, it's really just down to, at the end of the day, it's down to what the companies look at when they look at the other company. You know, Xbox is looking at PlayStation as, okay, they're the top dog. Let's ask for cross-platform. And Sony did the same thing back in the last gen. And who knows what's going to happen next gen. Next gen could finally be the generation when we get them. Or 
if we're lucky, everyone will just pull, pull their heads out of their asses, finally start agreeing on things, and give us cross-platform this year. Um, again, I say with how E3 went, and I still haven't finished E3, and I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so slacking. I'm so sorry. I've been very busy. I'm sorry. Um, but with how E3 went, with a lot of the games being announced, being mostly multiplayer-based, um, it comes down to, okay... You know, this is the year where I think cross-platform has the best shot at being a formidable and powerful thing to be brought into the gaming world. First off, I'm going to reiterate the points I already made. Fallout 76 and Anthem, just, there you go. Um, but, you know, there's so many games that are going to be coming out this year and in the next coming years that are <clears throat> very based around multiplayer gameplay, and it's going to be like, okay, so you have... A bunch of people on PlayStation, a bunch of people on Xbox, you know. You have your friends that you can play with on PlayStation, but then there's your friends who have an Xbox that you can't play with, you know. And it's going to be like, okay, I wish that they could join in. Now, again, the whole thing could be, it could be down to Sony and Xbox already kind of having an agreement on this and talking about it, and then, you know. And the thing is, it doesn't even start with everything. Not every game needs cross-platform immediately. Again, there's games that can't really make be made cross-platform anyway. Um... But not every game needs to be made cross-platform, plat cross you know? They could literally just have it be a few games. You know, give us, like, Fortnite, um, Anthem, and Fallout 76 to start with. To see how cross-platform works. To see if it actually works properly. And to see if enough people are engaging in it to actually make it a formidable big change that they're going to put in. And then once they see that, yes, it's going to be huge. Because, of course, it's going to be fucking huge then start branching it out to more games. And again, like I said, you don't need to do it with every game either. It, it needs to be a small amount of games. It doesn't need to be every game that has online capabilities, just every few games. So let's just kind of run down a list of games that I would love cross-platform. Anthem, Fortnite, Fallout 76, already on that list. Um, trying to think. Oh, shit, I'm, like, drawing a blank. I've watched so much gaming shit the past, like, week and a half that a lot of things have just kind of blanked out my memory. Uh, Call of Duty slash Battlefield. Ooh. Wouldn't be too bad. Again, you have that toxic sort of community, though, so it'd be kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, am I sure? Is, is this something we should really put in? Um, sports games wouldn't be a bad choice. Uh, most sports games kind of have that ability of, okay, they're very fun when you play them online and it'd be very fun to be able to play against people on other systems. Um, maybe multiplayer VR games. I don't know if there's actually any multiplayer VR games. Hmm. But, you know, and, and there's just so many games that are going to be coming out that have multiplayer capabilities that giving them an online functionality would be fantastic. Or an online multiplayer multiple platform functionality would be fantastic um another big thing that comes down to the kind of whole top dog sort of thing is you look at you know exclusives xbox has barely any exclusives most of their exclusives are indie games not that there's anything wrong with indie games indie games are fucking wonderful but most of their exclusives are indie games Whereas, and, and I saw somebody make a joke about this, talking about the difference between Xbox exclusives, because Xbox had a longer list than Sony this year. But then I looked at it, I'm like, okay, that's an indie game, that's an indie game, that's an indie game, that's an indie game. Xbox has what? Four or five, maybe, AAA titles in their exclusives. And then you look over at Sony, who has like seven just straight up AAA console exclusives. And that's the big thing too, is when you're, it, is it's a, uh, an exclusive an exclusive sort of thing too is is like okay here here's the money to make these exclusives you know last of us part two and stuff like that um you know and that's a big that's a big factor into sony being the the bigger name this year is exclusivality you know it is the exclusives that they have on their console they have the exclusives that are bringing people over. Now, again, Xbox, like I said, does have them, but they have less AAA titles in their lineup. And that's that's kind of the big thing with it, is people look at the console that they want the most, 
and then they kind of you know decide what they want from the game if you want exclusives you know you're going sony if you want the indie game market you go xbox you know and that's sort of the thing and so i think that's a huge reason with it that's another huge thing with it is it's kind of down to that sort of mentality do you want more indie games or do you want more exclusives and and that sort of thing and i think a big thing with it is and that's another thing i think a lot of people think that once cross-platform comes people are going to stop looking for exclusives no they're not they're still going to focus on exclusives because exclusives are probably one of the big things that draws somebody to buy a console um i know when i got my playstation i kind of looked at it, i was like okay i could play the last of us remastered i could play the uncharted franchise i i could play uh, you know there's so many games i listed in my head like okay i can play all these games now that i have this you know, and again, it's it's down to that whole thing of me being a massive God of War fan that it's like, oh, I have a console that I can play this on now that's not my PSP. And that really that really kind of made me happy. Um, but yeah, I think a big thing with this is it, it's, it's the sort of thing with it is, again, it's always going to kind of be this way. It's going to be that top dog sort of mindset kind of pushing away from from cross platform. What I think needs to happen is everyone needs to just pull their heads out of their asses, get in a room, sit down with each other, and talk about it, and not look at it from a business standpoint. Because if you look at it from a business standpoint, you're always going to say no, no matter what. You know, if you're the top guy, you're going to say no, and if you're the small guy, you're going to say yes. You know, it's always going to be that way. What you need to look at it as, okay, do the fans want this? Like, is this going to make the fans happy? Because ultimately, that's what you do as a business, especially a business in this industry. What you do as a bit as that sort of business is you want to make people happy. Like, yes, making money is fantastic, but keeping your people, keeping your customers satisfied and happy is is the big goal. So look at it from that standpoint. Look at it as will this make our customers happy will this make the make the fans happy and will they love this idea and the answer to all three of those questions is yes it will it very much will <laughs> um so my hot take is that it's a fantastic idea i love the fact i love the thought of cross-platform play i would love it sometime this year going into next year giving us games like fallout 76 anthem and fortnite on multiple platform playability do I think it's going to happen anytime soon, though? No, I don't. I, I think that it's it's always going to be looked at from a business standpoint instead of from a industry sort of standpoint. They're going to always look at it as, okay, is this the right move with where we're at right now as a company slash console instead of will this make the fans happy? Will this be something they want? And that's ultimately the big issue with it. See, if they looked at it like that, we'd already have cross-platform. And I think they're not going to look at it like that for a while, sadly. I I would love for Sony and Xbox to be able to agree that cross-platform is something gamers deserve. Because it is. But it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Hopefully hopefully sometime in the next few years. But we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Again... They could already have a decision made on this and they could be bringing it during Fallout 76 and Anthem and we just don't know because they want to surprise us with it, which would be nice as hell. But we'll see. We'll see going forward over the next few years of gaming. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are on cross-platform down in the comments below. Are you a fan of it or do you not want to do it? I get that the communities are very different as well, so it's kind of one of those things. Um... What games would you guys love to play cross-platform if you had the ability? I'll see you all in the next video. Stay golden. Peace.